Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at a new set from LEGO Star Wars. This is set number 75387, the boarding of the Tantive 4, coming in at 502 pieces. This is a really cool set because it obviously depicts a very iconic scene from the first Star Wars movie, Episode 4, um, first obviously to be released, um, where Darth Vader boards the Tantive 4 and uh, obviously if you've seen the movie, you know what happens there. Now this set is actually pretty cool also because not only do you get a ton of minifigures, in my, in my opinion, you get two Rebel Fleet Troopers, you get Captain Antilles, you get two Stormtroopers, and then you also get Darth Vader. But because this is a set that's celebrating 25 years of LEGO Star Wars, they also include an exclusive minifigure, which is Arc Trooper 5s. So, um, this set has, had actually been sold out at my local um, Lego store, but today I was at Walmart and they actually had it in stock, so I went ahead and picked it up. So really cool box artwork here, obviously depicting the set and then the different minifigures. When you turn it around here, it will show you a couple of the cool play features that you get, um, which obviously I'll show you guys when we put the set together, but it looks like a really, really awesome set. Now, obviously, if you are a LEGO fan, you know that they recently um, released another LEGO set, which is when Luke Skywalker um, uh, boarded the uh, Moff Gideon's light cruiser in uh, the Mandalorian um, show. So, um, you know, I don't know if this is going to be the norm from LEGO going forward, uh, making these kind of hallway scenes and stuff like that, but I think they do a really awesome job recreating the way that hallway actually looks on screen. So let's go ahead and go open up the box and we'll see what is inside. All right, so when you open up the box, you actually get five bags. They are numbered one through five, which is perfect because again, it'll be a pretty quick and easy build. Again, this is an eight plus set and it only has 502 pieces. So uh, this will be a fun little build. You also get a very small sticker sheet. I was expecting more stickers uh, based on what I saw in the um, in the box art. You know, obviously they use the stickers to kind of give you, um, you know, a perspective of the different areas in the hallway and stuff like that. So just a small little sticker sheet here. And then obviously your instruction manual here. So you can see the hallway build right here. And then you also get a little build for um, our Trooper 5s there, which is really cool. Now what I didn't see and I was expecting to see is any type of information regarding the scene or something like that. I thought this was one of those sets where it would actually make a lot of sense to have that just to kind of touch back on what this particular scene is about. But there wasn't anything there. It just goes right into the build. But what's really cool is in the back here, it actually tells you, um, let me go ahead and find that last page here, that you can actually combine um, different sets to actually expand your play. So if you're going to be using, uh, if you're going to be actually do, um, playing with this set, you can actually buy two of them. So you can see it says times two right here, and you can actually make the hallway a lot longer. So that is really cool because again, if you want to go ahead and uh, use the play feature of the set as opposed to just displaying it, uh, by doing this, you'll actually get obviously double the amount of guards, double the amount of um, of stormtroopers. You know, you'll only have to use the one um, Darth Vader, but it makes it um, you know, a lot more fun by doing that. So let's go ahead and put the set together and then we'll take a closer look at it. All right, so here is the finished set. All in all, it took about 45 minutes to an hour to actually put it all together. Again, it's only 502 pieces. So this is a great set if you wanna just kind of pass the time. Um, obviously great display set, but also has some really cool play features. So let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures, starting on the left here with Captain Antilles. So here is Captain Antilles. He does have that comically large helmet. If you've seen the movie, you know that. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of it. And then you do have the black visor there. He's got a little, little blaster. And then you do have some printing on the torso right there, no leg printing, and then a little bit of printing in the back. So. Taking a look now at the Stormtroopers, you do get two of them. Again, great example of a Stormtrooper in my opinion. You do have some torso printing, some leg printing, his blaster. Um, and then you do have the um, back printing, great helmet. And then you also get two different um, heads on the uh, on the Stormtrooper. So that's really cool because again, you normally don't see their heads, but you saw that one and then you do get that one as well. So it's cool that they've made two different heads, even though you normally wouldn't see them. 
Then you do get two of the Rebel Fleet Troopers here. They do have the same helmet as Captain Antilles. And then they do have the um, kind of grayish, um, grayish, bluish legs, no printing. You do have printing on the shirt there and on the back as well, on the torso and their blasters. Both of these are exactly the same. The last regular minifigure is uh, Darth Vader. Obviously, great example of a Darth Vader here. Um, you do have uh, some printing on the torso, on the legs. You do get arm printing on this guy as well, and then printing in the back. Obviously, you do get a cape there, and you do have that dual molded helmet with the little um, kind of chin piece there, and then his face, and then the helmet itself and then he does get his red lightsaber. So those are the um, six minifigures that are normally included with the set. Now besides Darth Vader, um, they do have this little clear piece here that they say that, that goes with him. When you're putting it together, they just have it sitting next to him there. So I just kind of left it there. I will show you in a bit what that's supposed to be used for. But then you do get, because this is a uh, 25 year anniversary sets um, of Lego Star Wars, you do get Arc Trooper 5s here, and he looks really awesome. A lot of printing on him there. Uh, you do get the little antenna on his helmet, the dual blasters, his backpack there, and then he is sitting on this, uh, this kind of base here. Now you do also get this piece that they put next to him. It doesn't have to do anything with the set. I believe this is used so on his little base here, you would attach this one. And then the other, um, there are other sets that come with exclusive figures for the 25 year anniversary. You can put them together. I believe that's what it's for. So um, a really cool uh, minifigure selection there. So let's go ahead and take a look at that again with, um, with the six that come with the set and then the exclusive Arc Trooper fives. So let's go ahead and take a look at the set itself now. All right, the set itself is pretty nice. Um, it does have some really nice detail thanks to those um, sticker pieces, but also the way that they've kind of tiled everything off. As you can see here, the, um, the door with the cl you know, closed, you do have a printed tile in the back there and the little markings at the top here. Really, really nice. So you do have the two entrances, the entrance where the Darth Vader and the, the uh, Stormtroopers are coming through and then where the um, Fleet Troopers and Captain Antilles come through on the other end here. So um, as it stands, it's uh, it's a nice size display piece. It's, I would say, about 10 inches long and about 6 inches wide here um, at the widest portion there. So a nice display piece. Um, I almost wish they would have tiled the top off here, you know, with the with the, um, the smooth tiles on the top there just to kind of finish it off. I, do, I, just, I feel like it looks a little bit unfinished there. Um, they went all the way through, you know, the different areas here. You do have that red kind of poking through there as well. The back, obviously you get a little bit of a look at the mechanism that's going to be doing different things, but I think all in all, it's a great looking set. So on the bottom here, you do have a couple of different Technic pieces that do activate some play features. Um, and it's these little, uh, portions on the floor here, you are able to uh, go ahead and put one of the minifigures on there. But as you rotate these um, these Technic pieces, that will actually cause it to um, kind of fall over. So again, if you're using this for play features, you can go ahead and do that. And then the um, either the uh, Fleet Trooper will fall over or the um, Storm Trooper will fall over. Uh, so again, you do get four of those for four different spots within the um, the floor hallway here, the, the hallway of the floor, uh, or the floor of the hallway, I should say, sorry about that. Um, so that is really, really cool. Now in the back here, you also have this uh, long Technic piece here that's attached to a mechanism on this side, which actually opens this door here. So you do get two, two ways of doing it. You can either use this portion at the top here, or you can use this portion down here. Now, um, I don't know if it's because of how tight these tolerances are. I find that um, using the one on the end over here doesn't fully open the, um, the mechanism. So I just end up kind of using this one. And uh, as you can see here, when you pull down that, it actually opens a door. But also here, the way that they've um, made this uh, design here, it almost looks like there's fire going on because obviously they've busted through the door. So let's see if we can uh, take a look at how that looks a little bit um, closer. So when you activate that, it opens that up. And then now you can have Darth Vader or the stormtroopers kind of walking through there and it's like a fiery, they kind of 
cut a hole through the door there. So that is really, really cool. So let me go ahead and place some of the uh, minifigures here so you can see what that looks like. All right, before I put the minifigures on, um, I mentioned this little kind of clear tube piece here. So they have it in the instructions kind of sitting next to Darth Vader. Now this actually um, has one particular purpose that I know of, and this is so you can actually put it underneath one of the either fleet troopers or underneath Captain Antilles, so it looks like they're levitating. So obviously Darth Vader is using a fork choke, a force choke or levitation or something like that to kind of raise them off the ground. So this is that piece that you would use. But I did want to show you guys in the instruction manual, it does show him, there it is, it does show him actually holding on to that piece. So you guys know what, what that's all about. Um, I'm not exactly sure why it shows him holding on to it, but as you can see over here, you know, it's underneath uh, Captain Antilles' uh, leg there, and it's almost like he's levitating him and force choking him. So, uh, pretty cool play feature, but again, I'm not sure what the purpose of him actually holding on to it is. All right, so here are the six minifigures in the hallway scene. So again, as you can see, there's enough room to have them all. That was one of the other things that I was kind of worried about, that it was going to be too crowded, but you know, it obviously seems like, you know, it's got more than enough room. But as I showed you in the beginning, if you did want to make a, you know, purchase another one of these and make it a longer hallway scene, you can go ahead and do that. So that is really, really cool. Now you do have Darth Vader, the Stormtroopers on this side, Captain Antilles, and the Fleet Troopers on this side. So I've placed one of the Fleet Troopers here. So as you can see, when you rotate that Technic piece, it almost um, makes it seem like he's been shot and he like flies away. So um, really cool play features. I also have Captain Antilles kind of hovering on that piece like Darth Vader is supposed to be force choking him obviously all the way from the back maybe I should move Darth Vader a little bit more forward but the same thing with the stormtroopers here if you do activate that technic PC you know it, it'll you know pretend like the um, fleet trooper shot him so again cool cool play features on this uh, set here so as far as the display piece I think it is really cool it's a very iconic scene and for the most part it's going to be you know for any Star Wars fan it's going to be instantly recognizable as far as what's going on especially with who is in this scene here I love the inclusion of the our trooper fives because again, it's just a bonus. Um, you know, they didn't have to put it in there, but they went ahead and did, and he's a really cool minifigure. So I think all in all, this is a great set, especially if you are into Star Wars, Lego Star Wars, um, you know, or Lego as it is, uh, you would definitely be a hard press uh, not to pass this one up. So there it is, um, just a look at Lego set 75387, the boarding of the Tantive Four, coming in at 502 pieces. Uh, again, one of the sets uh, commemorating the 25-year anniversary of LEGO Star Wars with that inclusive piece there. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.